Breaking. T-Mobile has quietly updated their TOS to include fines for content they don't agree with. Beginning on January 1, 2024, they will be fining users who commit perceived violations on their bandwidth. Who knew in America that the phone providers would now be policing the content of your text messages to fine you? S-H-A-F-T is an acronym that stands for sex, hate, alcohol, firearms, and tobacco. It outlines the categories of text messages specifically regulated due to moral and legal issues and is monitored and enforced by the Cellular Telephone Industries Association, CTIA, and the mobile carriers. Who gets to determine what is and isn't hateful? Will political text messages be censored now as well going into 2024? Nice toes, date change. Just in time for the GOP primary and 2024 presidential election. Shalom, shalom, shalom. All praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, which is to say in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, which is the name of our Heavenly Father, meaning He is. Bahashim, meaning in the name, Yahweh Shai, meaning he is our salvation. To the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans here in the Western Hemisphere, and to the rest scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, who look like the other nations, but through the patrilineal lineage, go back to the Hebrew Israelites. This just said, T-Mobile, new terms of service began to take place January 1st, 2024. And from the video that I just played, they want to implement a system where they monitor your text regarding to certain material labeled as SHAF, which is an acronym for sexual, hate, alcohol, uh, firearms, tobacco. So if any of your messages have to do with any of those, you know, acronyms, then you're going to have to pay a fine or have your service terminated. Okay? And let's just say this was to take place and other uh, wireless carriers were to pursue after this same type of uh, terms of service, you know, whether it's prepaid or whether it's contract because we know a lot of these prepaid wireless services use the same, you know, service as the major uh carriers like sprint and t-mobile okay so who's to say that those who are signing up for you know prepaid cell phones won't have to have that or won't be held under that same term of service okay so it's just been you know solidified through the longest you know that they've been monitoring the texas but now they've putting it in a way where they have the license to actually do something about it, okay? Under the guidelines of, you know, per, uh, performing and having a better, you know, safety measurement to prevent things from happening that can occur that could, you know, potentially be catastrophic, you know? Whether it's, you know, how they may use it and say sex trafficking, if they can have, you know, messages that prove that there's things that's going on outside of what should be going on that they can use it can be you know afforded to the appropriate authority and alongside that you have to pay a penalty and you may even do somewhat should i say or dare i say jail time you know this way this could be potentially headed hate crime okay you know you can be labeled you know under the hate crime, you know, and have to pay a penalty or do jail time as well, you know, and who's to say what's considered hate and what's not, all right? So all this is being put into effect, you know, and could be looked after, you know, under this new term of service, you know, coming forth in January of 2024, if it follows through with it, okay? Because the I know a lot of customers, you know, they're going to have a problem with how they feel this is impeded on their first amendment, amendment, freedom of speech. Okay. 
But under the guidelines of protecting our community, you know, they could easily pull this off and say this is for the better protection of our community and to help stop certain aspects of this society, which is going to hell in a handbasket. You know, so you got sexual hate, alcohol, firearms and tobacco, you know, so they can monitor your messages and your conversation if they have anything that, you know, raises a red flag, they can report that over to the appropriate authority and they can also find you with a, a hefty fine. So now you have to be careful on how you talk. And you see it is on the YouTube algorithm, social media. You know, you can't say things how you used to be able to say freely. Now you have to word your, you know, choose your words carefully. Now you have to, what it seems like, you're going to have to be able to choose and say what you say over their airwaves, okay? Because in the end, you know, this is their airwaves. You know, if you want to continue to uh, use their service, then you have to abide by their terms, and who's to say what's your contract that you currently are in right now is expired that you sign this new contract. You might have to be under this new term of service. OK. Now, I bring this out because the second acronym, which is H, is this hate is where they really want to crack down on is hate speech. OK. And we know that this truth that we preach can be deemed hate speech, especially under the ADL, you know, the anti defamation league, you know, there's number of individual camps that are labeled under that acronym as hate groups, you know, and particularly talking about this truth, you know, speaking this truth could be could be deemed hate. OK, and this could be one step closer to them. What, you know, cracking down on what they see as hate speech and to penalize it. And to toss some of us in jail if it comes down to that. Okay. Now we know that they can ping these phones and get specific locations and whereabouts as to where this text message is coming from. If they don't have your, you know, name that you have when you sign up for a contract such as T-Mobile, because we know if you get a prepaid, you don't have to have, you know, your name when you buy that phone. Okay. But if they make that a policy, where, you know, now you have to sign up and you have to show your name, you know, for pre pray then it can be easily tracked to whoever sent that message, okay? And you can see where this thing is going. They want to, you know, they want to put a lid on the truth, okay? Pursuant to Amos 8 and 11, family of the word. So they want to do away with the word by all means necessary, even if it's coming after your freedom of speech or what you deem freedom of speech because who's to say you can't still speak you just can't speak over their airwaves you know you want to go and still speak you can still have that opportunity but if you use words and things and language of that you know denoting certain things that they feel is violating their policy their terms of service they could terminate your service and they can hit you with a hefty fine. You know, I believe it was 3500 So if this is to be assumed to be true starting January 1st, 2024, the new terms of service with T-Mobile, you know, you can see easily other carriers, you know, such as Sprint or AT&T, you know, adopting this same term of service. Okay. So this is just the times we coming in, you know, and I just did a video uh, pursuant to these celebrities and, you know, them giving public apologies. All right. So this is a time that we in where anything you say can be deemed as a hate speech if it's going against a particular group of pe uh, people, individuals. OK, now we know this truth condemns the people. And if you speak the truth, you may very well be, you know, under their terms of service. Now, I'm speaking of T-Mobile, but, you know, eventually it's going to come down the pipe where it's the whole, you know, the whole system is on one accord. Where if you say anything that could be, you know, deemed as hate speech, you could pay a hefty penalty and even be tossed into jail. All right. 
Now we know some of us are going to be persecuted for this word pursuing the Revelation 20 and 4. Okay, some of us will be headed, you know, but, you know, some of us are going to be cast into prison as well. And I believe that's in Revelation. Okay, so now this is off the community board of T-Mobile. And I believe this is a customer or this is what it says, at least. It says T-Mobile at T-Mobile has quietly updated their term of service to include fines for content that they don't agree with beginning on January 1st, 2024. They will be finding users who commit perceived violations on their bandwidth. OK, so this is their bandwidth. If you have a problem with it, they can easily say you don't have to abide to our term of service. You can cancel your contract and go get another prepaid phone company who your service is going to drop in the middle of calls. Or however, they're going to sell it to you that if you leave their service and go to another you know, service that you're going to have bad service so however they want to use it they can use it because it's their bandwidth okay so it says january 1st 2024 they will be finding users who commit perceived violations on their bandwidth who knew in america that the phone providers would now be policing policing the content of your text messages to find you chef is an acronym that stands for sex, hate, alcohol, firearms, and tobacco. It outlines the categories of text messages specifically re regulated due to moral and legal issues and is monitored and enforced by the Cellular Telephone, Telephone Industries Associations, the CTIA. So, you know, who's to say that these people weren't watching you all along, you know, from the messages that you were sending, you know, those messages that they call sexting, when you send pictures to your, you know, insignificant others, you know, those pictures that you thought that get deleted into uh, cyber world. No, they can continue to hold those pictures on, you know, and those text messages for who knows how long. OK, so it says the Cellular Telephone Industries Associations, CTIA, and the mobile carriers who gets to determine what is and isn't hateful. Will political text messages be uh, censored now as well going into 2024? And you can say that, but we know exactly where this is going and where this is going to land at and it's targeting it. See, these political text messages don't do nothing against their society. It's this truth, okay? This truth is what's exposing them. Without this truth, they can continue to, you know, wallow in their filth. But now that this truth is coming out and it's exposing to who they are, they have to have a, they have to find a way to put a lid on it to shut it up, okay? So if they have to use this and associate it with a political campaign of 2024, by by all means they will but we know that they want to narrow it down to this truth this is what it all boils down to this truth this is what exposes this kingdom this kingdom has been upheld on lies and now that this truth is coming out and exposing the lies they can't continue to make you know strides as they once did okay now that everybody is seeing and seeing who they are and seeing how they being exposed, you know, they have to think of, you know, ways to come about to combat this truth. And this could be one way as to monitor, you know, certain individuals with cell cellular services, you know, and can shut it down. Cause a lot of our videos are uploaded on our cell phones, you know, and if some of our, you know, people who use these cell phone services have T-Mobile. They can easily shut down their service with T-Mobile. It can stop the videos from going up, which could be what? A prelude to the family of the word. Amos 8 and 11. Let's go there. All right, this is the book of Amos in chapter 8, and it, verse, and it reads verse 11. It reads, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, saith the Lord Almighty, 
that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. Right. And if they start putting these new terms of services on these cell phone carriers and a lot of the brothers who upload their videos via by the way of their cell phones and they deem what they say on their cell phone, you know, hate speech, they can easily terminate their term of service and you can no longer see these videos be put up, you know, and it's truth and it's validity, you know, they may still let certain videos go out, but they may not be giving you the truth. But the ones that they deem hate that actually have the truth, you know, they could take those down because why? They won't have any, you know, way of putting them up. Because their service has been terminated. Okay. And this can all be working in junction with the Internet as well. You know, your social media platforms, you know. It, you know, it, it goes all it goes all across the board. OK, so they just trying to make sure they tie up loose ends. You know, any way they perceive that you could put up this truth, they want to put, you know, as much opposition in between it or in front of it as they can, you know. And eventually they're going to get it where you can't be out on the streets preaching the word, you know, because it's going to be deemed hate speech. All right. So this is all directed towards the truth you know they put these other acronyms to make it look you know whatever but that h is what really stands out which is that hate you know and that's what really they that's what they really want to crack down on is this so-called hate speech you know and this truth is which and this truth is what condemns them and this is what they've labeled under the adl as hate speech now, who's to say they're not working in, you know, conjunction with that, you know, that lead, you know, who knows what T-Mobile and these other cell phone carriers are working with, okay, are working for. So whatever they deem under that, they can put under the hate speech and they can, you know, cancel your term of service and leave you with a, a hefty fine of 3500 you know, and who knows what the penalty is if you don't pay that. It may affect your credit. You may not be able to, you know, get that apartment or you may not be able to get that job or whatever. You know, you, that credit, you know, having good credit allows you to uh, accomplish in this society. OK. That's why in Luke. What is it? Luke. 17 and 33 it says whosoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it whosoever shall lose his life shall preserve it so if costing if the cost of keeping and preaching this truth is you you know losing your term of service and having bad credit and not being able to get that apartment or that job or whatever you know this is the cost of doing business, man. This is what you have to be willing to go and be prepared. We went into that in Sirach and too. When you come into this truth, you know, you have to get your soul right for temptation. Okay. What are you going to do? Deny, you know, your Hawashai and not put up these videos and teach anymore because you don't want to ruin your credit. Because if you do and your uh, material is deemed hate speech. T-Mobile can terminate your service and affect your credit and leave you with a hefty fine. And if you don't pay that fine, it impacts your credit score. And now because your credit score has taken a hit, you can't get a car. You can't get an apartment. You can't get a job. Now, how are you going to eat? How are you going to survive? Okay. See, they trying to come after you in ways you can't even imagine. Okay. T-Mobile is one of the major companies that can affect your credit score. Having a good credit score is what allows you, you know, a good deal on a job or a car or a apartment or a house or whatever, you know. So this thing is going down the pipe. You know, if this thing comes into effect next year, you know, you can see a lot of more companies adopting the same type of uh term of service 
whether it's your internet provider, whether it's your cell phone carrier, you know, whatever it may be. If they deem it hate speech and they hit you with a, a hefty fine and you don't pay it, it can affect your credit, your credit score. You know? So this thing could have uh, resounding effects. All right? So they coming after the truth. They coming after the word. And this is going to really show who's really, who's really what they say and believe what they say. And really ready to depend on the most high. Okay, this is getting us prepared for the time that we get ready to come into. Okay. St. Luke 9 and 24 says what? For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. For whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. So if you really... Really, really, really what you say and you about that and you willing to lose your life for the sake of your Havashai, you going to get it back. You're going to gain it. You're going to save it. You know, are you not going to put up videos because, you know, you have to worry about your credit score and getting hit with that hefty, hefty fine of thirty five hundred. And if you can't pay it, it goes on to your, you know, the credit bureau, you know, <laughs> I mean, you can easily see a situation like that playing out. Okay? You know, so one thing leads to another. You know, they want to start off with this acronym and then they want to get you and put you on, you know, a group of individuals who have bad credit and you can't get anything in this society. Now what? You have to go down and get whatever they have in order for you to what? You know, pay your bills or whatever. And what? And, and in terms, you have to be reprogrammed, you know? So it's all coming to a, a, a head, you know, we seeing where this thing is coming to, you know? So 2024, you know, we praying that these prophecies come to pass, come to fruition, you know? And we praying that we be prepared when they do, you know, and we be in the spirit. So this is the time we have right now to build up our spirit and to get ourselves prepared for that, okay? So, you know, this is just, you know, part for the taking, you know? We have to be prepared for this at all costs. So let's read that again. St. Luke 9, 24 says, For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever will lose his life for my sake, the same shall save it. Okay? So... You know, this is where it comes down to. Is you really ready to, you know, lose your life, lose everything in this world for the sake of Yahweh Shah? Because if so, you're going to get it back in the kingdom. That's pursuant to St. Matthew, the 19th chapter, the 29th verse. Okay. So this is all getting your spirit prepared for this. Okay. So if this do come to pass and things do play out like this, you'll know what's going, you'll, you'll know what to expect and you won't be taken off guard by it. All right. So we're going to see how things play out. And if T-Mobile do go through with this, we're going to see what people do and see how people react to it. Okay. And if T-Mobile goes through it and other companies adopt the same type of, uh, you know, terms of service, you know, and we see how it plays out and if it has an effect on your credit score and we know what a good credit score means to a lot of people here in this society, you know, we're going to see what people do. OK. All right. So that was about it. We ain't going to take too long on this. We're going to go ahead and close out in first Peter. Five and eight, and we're going to take it from there. This is first Peter, chapter five and verse eight, and it reads, be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walk of about seeking whom he may devour. And he know a lot of people care about their credit score. They don't want to see their credit score drop down. So they'll abide to the terms of service if that's what it comes down to. If they allow these companies, these carriers to affect their credit score, if they don't pay their fines for sending these messages that they deem inappropriate under this new acronym, which is SHAF, Sexual hate, alcohol, firearm, and tobacco, you know, you, you, 
you know, if you don't pay the fine that they pay for that, you know, your term could be suspended and you could be reported to the credit bureau or however it may be, you know, to pose that draconian, you know, law. OK. So we're going to see, you know, if they do use it for the 2024 uh, candidate using messages and demon it hate talking about, you know, potential candidates that's running for the presidential election you know they still can use it to come at the truth because that's where they want to go at it with that's where everything lies with the truth the truth exposes them for who they are they could care less about some politics somebody writing a text message a hateful text message about you know a, a politician or a candidate that's running from the uh, uh presidential election Although it can be used to be justified, it's still nevertheless targeting this truth. And they want to put that under the hate speech so that it can go for that. That's what they want to take off the internet. That's what they that's what they want to remove from the eyes of the people, you know. But they're not gonna be able to, okay? And when they do, it's only it's only because the most high allowed them to it, because that time is up. And now the number, the elect have been sealed. So now the word has to be removed. And now you can expect darkness to come and all hell to break loose. And then it's going to be whatever you've accomplished and allowed and were allowed to gather through that mercy time, that grace period. That's what you're going to have to rely on in that time, which is Jacob's trouble. When all, when, you know, when all, you know, all hell breaks loose. OK, so that's why you have to be sober and be vigilant. Know what's, know what's going on. Because your adversary, the devil, he's not going to put that on mainstream media. You know, you're going to have to do the research and look for it. You know, and keep your eyes peeled, you know. You know, and do your research. Look it up. You know. Measure it with the time. Measure it diligently with, with the time, OK? You see what time we in, you see how these wars are sparking up and they using these conflicts between these, you know, two different individual speaking of these land masses to deem people who write about that hate speech, you know, you see where it's all leading to, man. Anybody that talks about these particular people, you know, they can be considered or be deemed under the hate speech category. You know, and if you got a major company or you doing business with a major company, you know, you can expect to have that to be in effect. I just did a video with celebrities and entertainers that are making public apologies because they want to what? They want to keep their keeps in this system, in this society. OK. And the same thing is going to come down to, to us regular people. If you want to continue to have a job and you want to continue to use the services of Babylon, you're going to have to watch how you talk. OK. And if you get deemed under the hate speech, you're going to have to pay a hefty penalty or pay the penalty. Have your term of service, have your term of service counsel or, you know, if it goes down to your credit, have your credit affected by it where you can't do anything. OK. So, you know, I'm going to close out after that. I pray somebody was edified through this lesson. And until the next time, if it be the Lord's will, stay strong, stay in the faith. We are almost home. Shalom.